Hi, it's Dr. Merrill here at Coates Hearing Clinic, and today we're going to talk about a test that we can do at our clinic called acoustic reflex thresholds. What are they and why do we test for them? So just a quick anatomy review. Um, we have three portions of the ear, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. With an acoustic reflex threshold, or an ART, we are looking at the middle ear. Um, we are looking at the different muscles of the ear. Um, so there are ligaments and there are muscles and there are also bones. Um, in this picture right over here that show um, different functions and how they can all associate with the hearing. So acoustic reflexes measure the stapedius and tensor tympani reflex, which is generated by eardrum movement in the response to intense sound. So a sound goes through the, the ear canal and hits the eardrum and then stimulates the, the stapedius muscle and the um, tensor tympani reflex. And they can be helpful in checking for particular types of hearing loss in situations where patients can be um, their reliability can be questionable. They also occasionally point to central nervous system pathologies as well that we might not necessarily see on an actual hearing test. So the ART is the lowest intensity of an acoustic stimulus that elicits a measurable change in the, in the acoustic emittance. So we send a sound that's pretty loud into the ear and then the muscles and that reflex respond back um, and have an acoustic emittance. So the lowest sound that that, that that muscle and that reflex reacts is what an ART is. A tiny muscle in the middle ear tightens when you hear a loud sound, which is what we call the reflex. How loud the sound needs to be before the reflex happens can tell a lot about your hearing. If you have a hearing loss that's very bad, you might not even have a reflex. Um, so that's why we usually do the hearing test and then the reflexes. It's kind of like tympanometry where we send information and we pressurize um, the outer and middle ear to see how well the eardrum's moving. The sounds will come through a probe in your ear and a device will record your reflex. So you don't have to do anything. So this is what it looks like. Um, it is again a loud sound. It's not going to damage your ear, but it's gonna be pretty loud. Um, so if we look here, um, 80, there's no, not really a response. And then at 85, you kind of see that this response is happening. That shows that the reflex and that muscle are tightening. And then when you get a little bit louder, it gets bigger and bigger. <clears throat> So considerations when testing for ARTs, an acoustic reflex will most likely be elicited if all of the following conditions are met. So there's no normal middle ear function, so there's no fluid, there's no issues with the bones, um, the stimulus is loud enough, like we talked about, um, and then there's no abnormal adaptation to the stimulus. Um, sometimes there are contraindications. Indica in, um, Tinnitus can happen, um, can, you know, there's damage to, to the ear that can um, mess up the reflex. Outer ear infection, if the sound can't get into the middle ear, then you're not going to have a reflex. Uh, and hyperacusis, which is um, the inability to, to tolerate loud sounds. Um, so if these sounds that we're putting in the ear are pretty loud, so if you have a toleration issue to loud sounds, we might not want to do it. About 5% of the adult population can have absent reflexes without having anything wrong with them, so we have to um, consider that as well. So what can an AR, um, ART tell us? They're ref they're, like I had mentioned, they're usually pre present at fairly loud levels, um, so you need to have 70 to 90 dB sound to produce the reflex. Um, they may be absent in individuals, which could help diagnose an ear-related issue. Um, they can tell about the type of hearing loss, so conductive sensory neural, um, and the degree or how loud. Also, conductive hearing losses, um, otosclerosis, which is the hardening of the bone, um, middle ear disease, those sorts of things. Um, severe sensory hear neural hearing loss, so if you have a really, really significant hearing loss, even loud sounds aren't going to stimulate that because you have all that damage already. Um, eighth nerve hearing loss, such as an acoustic neuroma or a tumor, can, um, can affect the, how, the, how the response is happening. And then also a seventh nerve injury on a side can be, um, can, being measured can affect that as well. Um, so again, these are things, these are a test that we can do in the office to give us a full picture of your hearing. Um, if you're having any issues hearing, call and schedule an appointment today. Have a great day.